Well, hello, everybody. I'm Tom Boone, Associate Director for Mission with the Outreach Foundation, and we are on our last day of a conference. It really has just been just amazing, guys, has yes. it? I mean, it's Absolutely. the whole thing. Uh, it's a, it was a three-day event, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, if you hear a little bit of uh, noise in the background, it's because we're in a library in the... The door is open. I can't close that side of the wall, and people are milling over there. I, I am here with a couple of great guys, uh, Glenn and Blake. Um, and uh, just tell us a little bit about yourselves. Yeah, uh, Glenn Adelsberger. I live in uh, Bethlehem, Pennsylvania. Uh, I uh, semi-retired international paperboard and packaging uh, representative. And um, been an uh, elder at Grace Church, uh, served in missions for about 20 years. And this is my seventh mission trip. That's amazing. Thanks. Thanks, Glenn. I'm a retired pastor. Um, 36 years at a smaller church, San Grace. Years, yeah. uh, but uh, recently joined Grace, and I'm so happy to find that church family and find it so. Not only nourishing, but actually, I already got a chance to go on a mission trip. Yeah, there you go. In a few months, and it was uh, wonderful. I I can't just even put into words how, how great it was to be asked to even give a teaching. Yeah. So I said, yeah, I spent a couple months on that one. <laughs> well, and we'll get into that. I think it, the teaching you brought was around Esther. I love the way, everybody loved the way you told the story, Blake. What inspired you to tell the story as you did? Boy. Well, they talked about having PowerPoints with two languages and all that. And I read Esther. I thought the narrative is so beautiful. It's just a, a wonderful story. And we should just focus on the story. And I didn't want to get off on the tangents, although I probably did. But uh, it's, it's a dramatic story about how God worked for not just a, a, a woman, and her uncle, her cousin, but all the Jews in the world were saved by what she did. So it, it was just a, a story that tells itself in some ways. All you should do is tell it and it's, it's in the part of the world. It was, you kept asking the question, is this providence or coincidence? Coincidence. Yeah. 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 And I, uh, and I loved how people started responding. Finally, the they both of that. Providence, yes. yes. That was a great teaching Pardon point. Yeah. Glenn, while Blake was teaching. Uh, you all were, you and a team were just having a great time with all the kids. Tell us just a little bit about that experience. Yeah, we sure were. Uh, you know, those kids, um, first they uh, multitask in a lot of different languages. So, uh, you know, we had mostly English. Thankfully, we did have a uh, couple of German speakers and a uh, Farsi speaker. The kids were just great. You know, they had. Uh, we, we try to keep them moving and get like uh, activities and, you know, try to keep them focused, focused on the thing there, you know, uh, Daniel particularly. So they really like them a lot. And you know, uh, just try to keep them uh, as interested and as good as possible. Uh, we uh, did have a few that, you know, tried it a, it, it a few times, but, uh, you know, uh, tears of joy, I think. Yeah, well, you, you all had a good time, and the way that they sang at the end of the worship service, oh, thanks for yeah. thanks for working with them. Yeah, and I was thankful uh, that I didn't have to get up and sing, you know, so uh, that, that was an actual uh, benefit and, and value. So this is your first time, guys, with so many Iranians in one place. I'm um, wondering if you just reflect very briefly, how, how do you see God at work in, among these people? Well, for one thing, I had no idea about the diaspora of Iranians in Europe. No, no. So it's a story that hasn't been told in my neck of the woods, and it's a fabulous story, so we want to get that out. But they went through extreme circumstances just to get free, and they all can tell how the Lord got them here. You know, the Lord so they can talk about their faith in such moving ways. It's just exciting for us to be here. It really was. Yeah. So listen, just to listen. Worship with me. Yeah, I think for me, you know, the um, the individual testimonies, you know, were, were pretty powerful. 
and you know how you know the sacrifices and everything that they've been through in their life in a, a foreign land it has not been so easy to assimilate in you know to uh you know keep the focus on what's most important being christ-centered and just you know the, the warmth you know relationships you know that they have and how they share you yeah. know with all of us i mean we were just completely comfortable from day one and you know day two you know people hugging me uh you know really trying to understand you know more about you know your own faith journey and, and you know where we all kind of intersect so that was really really great uh they've been kind of a fantastic job here and, and uh just a great group that stays you know united and and very focused now what what blake and 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 glenn are, are getting at everybody is there is a platform here that's very stable sarkis benjamin who's our partner in germany uh comes from iran and his vision is to have created a very stable church and he's done that and, and that church is raising up a new generation we saw that Yes. Um, in action, these these leaders who are first generation Christians, all of them were Muslim before, are um, you know they have amazing testimonies like you said, Glenn, are are learning the value of a very stable and and living church. Yes, and and that's a new concept for them, and they it's just amazingly vibrant. Like when I took a picture. Um, that we actually can show. It's the picture of the whole group with the baptism. Wasn't that something? Powerful. Yeah, yeah really powerful. Now, the, yeah. The, the, the woman who came to faith, a special needs individual, we won't tell her name, um, but just to see the whole group around her and um, as part good. of that baptism. Yeah. Well, and, you know, at the end, when we were wrapping up, so he's, he's just acknowledging, you know, so much work and, and effort from various groups and individuals. But, you know, it, as a humble leader, never, no, no credit in stuff. In case somebody got up and said, well, yes, we would be remiss. And, and you know, he got the two minutes standing ovation, as you should have. Well, thanks, guys, for joining us. I hope you could get to be blessed by your presence on another. Uh, I would uh, want to. Uh, yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is wonderful. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity. Yeah. Thank, thank you. you both. Good time. And thank you all for listening to the to Glenn and Blake share their experiences. Thanks for following us through this week. Um, we look forward uh, to bringing you a little bit more toward the conclusion of our visit. God bless.